Hey guys, it's Ashley, the Naughty Floridian, and I wanted to catch you up on all the fun things I've been doing. Uh, my friends and I got to go to the fair this weekend, and on Monday, on my way home from work, I checked out $2 Day at bin time. So here's a snippet of what I've been up to, and I will definitely be making some great videos this month, and looking forward to a lot more thrifting, travel, and more. You guys, I ran by bin time during the last hour of their $2 sale on Monday on my way home from work and actually found some really good stuff. All right, first for the non-clothing items, I got these three pencil boxes with Disney's Frozen for $2. Um, one of them is a little bit dented, as you can see here. Um, so it might need fixing or maybe it can just um, house some tools in my toolbox. Um, but the other two are in really great condition and they are um, from the Tin Box Company, unique tinware for the home, it says on the back. Look, it's Olaf, it's so cute. And there's their sticker there. And they are um, actually Disney merchandise. So, um, even though one of them is a little bit dented, I would say getting all this for $2 is still a great deal. That means that those are just a dollar a piece, and hopefully the third one's still salvageable, but if not, I think that's still a great find. 
The next non-clothing item we have is actually a clothing accessory. It's this handbag with um, the strap that comes out. I thought this could be useful for a night out, um, for special events, or um, it could even go with some of my cosplay um, costumes. So, but for $2, I mean, really, that's a great find. So I'm very excited about this purse. The next song clothing accessory I found was this patriotic headband, which I can use in photo shoots or when it's a patriotic day at school to have fun wearing for my class to enjoy. So far as clothing goes, I found this nice basic climate smart base layer medium long sleeve shirt. And this will be perfect for keeping me warm during the winter weather because I'm kind of cold natured, so um, I need all the base layers I can get. The next clothing item I found is this fantastic multicolored pleated skirt with an elastic waist. Um, I was actually inspired by my friend Lindsay over at Similar Styles, follow her on Instagram, um, who poses with a lot of the brightly colored walls in and around Greenville and has a really fun, brightly colored, funky style. So thank you, Lindsay, for inspiring me. I think this skirt is gonna be well worth the $2 and pair well with a basic colored top, um, either pulling in one of these colors or just a plain black or white. All right, when I was looking through bin time, I realized that I actually have a lot of solid white dresses, but the great thing about this, guys, is when you're looking for a costume or just that perfect dress to go with those shoes, you can dye your white garments yourself pretty easily with Brit Dye or another brand of your choice. So um, don't pass up those plain white dresses and tops because you can do something with them um, other than leave them plain white but this has cute little flutter sleeves and this lace eyelet and that's just kind of a like a t-length little dress here and it's got the zipper in the back so it should fit pretty well um, I'm looking forward to maybe coloring that one uh, just to have fun getting a little creative last but most certainly not least I found a great top Side note, I found some excellent uh, bell-bottom overalls, uh, denim ones, over at Belk recently, and I'm really excited to find some sort of 70s style, psychedelic, paisley, floral, um, like flared sleeve tops to go with it. Right now it's way too hot to wear these, but I'm really looking forward to fall because I just want to do bell-bottom overall everything. You guys, I'm so excited. But this top that I found at Bin Time, has a little elastic at the bottom. It's got these flutter sleeves. They're kind of flared and very simple top here. It sort of crosses over. This should be perfect for a uh, fall style with those denim bell bottoms. So I'm really excited and I just really had a great time looking through bin time. It's on the weekends. It's when people find a lot of the high dollar items and really pick through the bins. But you can still find great stuff at bin time on Monday or Tuesday. And I'm really glad I stopped by on my home from work even though I was tired because now I have some exciting new items for my wardrobe and a couple accessories and then those pencil boxes I was telling you about. Thank you again to the folks at bin time. We're looking forward to um, going there really, really early when oh, it's still dark on a Saturday morning and waiting in line in a couple weeks at the beginning of October. Um, and I'm going to tell you guys if I think it was worth it or not and what I found. Um, we're also going to do some interviews with the owners and get them to talk about how Bin Time got started and where they see themselves going in the future. So we are not done going to Bin Time, guys. And I hope that you check it out. Um, I know there's a lot of long lines and people get a little bit frustrated with um, just seeing the posts um, showing the line going down the street and um, limited parking. But you guys, it really is worth it. Um, you can kind of schedule for a time that there's gonna be less people there or if you're really wanting those high-end items, you know, get in line really early on a Saturday morning, kind of like it's Black Friday and um, wait for those. Um, some people found KitchenAid blenders recently, projectors, all kind of great stuff. Um, if you want to see week to week what people are finding over at Bend Time, I would encourage you to follow on Instagram and also to go to their Facebook page because they share weekly um, bin wins. And if you actually use the Binwin hashtag yourself on the items you find, um, they can enter you to be one of the first 10 people in the door for the following week. Thanks so much for watching this week's video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up, click that subscribe button here on YouTube, and hit that bell icon to be notified next time we post.